Hey everyone, Luke here, and today we're going to talk about a very important supplement. We're going to talk about kelp. Kelp is another supplement, just like GB3, that everyone, everyone on a nutritional balancing program gets, including those on a four lows pattern, okay? So that's why we're going to talk about it. It's also a great supplement that people should incorporate into their diets because it's full of minerals, and pretty much no one's getting enough minerals in their diets today due to soil erosion, digestion, and other things, and like I've talked about in previous videos. And so, even if you're not on a program, I really encourage people to take kelp, okay? So, number one, why we have people take kelp is minerals, 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 okay? Just like the diet that we use and like the other things, okay? We're, we're after minerals, okay? So, if you think about kelp, what it is, it's basically just seaweed, okay? And then what they do is they dry it, okay? And they condense it into a capsule form. This is the brand that I use, okay? You can get other brands of kelp that do work. Um, some of them are a little bit toxic. I prefer Nature's Way kelp, okay, because I don't really like the taste of seaweed myself, and I prefer it in gelatin capsules so I can just take it with meals, and that's the way we usually do it with most people. Um, you can get granules that you add it to food, but I personally like Nature's Way because they're a good quality brand, they're cheap, I can get it on Amazon, and they're tasteless, okay, so I can just take it with all my other supplements with every meal, okay. So the number one thing is the minerals, okay. We're really after remineralization of the body, okay. The bodies are so depleted today. We need to add kelp, okay, on top of the other supplements just to add a bunch of minerals to the diet, okay? So that's the number one reason. Second one, this kind of goes along with the minerals, is actually bioavailable iodine, okay? So iodine is very important today. Um, most people don't get enough iodine. I mean, even the ones that do have iodine antagonists, okay? So, you know, iodine is found mostly in sea type food, uh, seafood type things, like fish and seaweed, you know. Um, so, like, for instance, like, the Japanese diets are typically high in iodine, which is one of the reasons why the Japanese live longer out of any Western, uh, well, they're not Western, but um, any uh, first world. First world? Yeah, first world country. But, so we're really after the iodine, okay? And, like, I've t I think I've talked about this in other videos, but... What happens is most of the bodies these today, especially in America, have all the iodine antagonists in it, okay? okay? So these are the halogens. So the halogens are fluorine, bromine, and chlorine, okay? And as you can imagine, these are in everything, okay? They put bromine in um, baking goods, okay? So all, most of the bread and the pastries and all that mass-produced stuff that we buy has a bromine in it. It's actually part of the baking process, amazingly. I don't know why they're allowed to do this. Um, there's bromine and chlorine in the water supply, okay, if you live in a city, there's probably chlorine in your water along with fluorine. Um, just like chlorine, they put fluoride, which is just a fluorine compound, into the water, okay. It's in the toothpaste. Uh, they even, you know, dentists will give it to little kids in a pill form because they're afraid they're going to get cavities. Um, so it's important to realize that one of the most important things is that, not that we don't get enough iodine, but on top of that is that we're having all these antagonists in our bodies that we need to get rid of, okay? So when you supply the body with the iodine and the minerals, it helps the body realize it's getting enough iodine and it can release the antagonist, okay? That's why sometimes people get reactions to it, because they'll actually start releasing chlorine out of their bodies. Another important thing is that it tends to spin up, speed up the oxidation rate. Um, this is partially because it gives your body a lot of minerals and the iodine, which is somewhat of a stimulant effect to the thyroid, okay? So it's very good for the thyroid. And so most people are slow oxidizers, and even fast oxidizers need the minerals. But it tends to speed up the oxidation rate, which is what, it's what preferable in most cases, okay? So we got minerals, we got iodine, and those are the two major things. Um, some uh, less important concepts is to realize that it's very young, okay? It's very young because it's, fr it's um, very salty because that's seaweed, you know, obviously it comes from the sea. And it's dried, so it's dried and salty and condensed, which is very young. So it's a young effect on the body. Um, and it, like I said, even if you are not on a program, everyone can take it, okay? So with kelp, typically we start, we give people two, two, two. This is what basically everyone gets. Um, you can do that even if you're not on a nutritional balancing program. Uh, we do like people to start with one a day, just because it does give people the jitter sometimes, because it is somewhat stimulant, and it will trigger releasing of the antagonists, okay? So you work up one a day, okay? Then you go to two a day, then three a day, and then you eventually you work up to two per meal, okay? So it's six a day total, two per, if you eat three meals a day, it's two per meal. So six a day. And that's if you're using Nature's Way, okay? So six of these a day. And that's it with kelp, okay? So in conclusion, the main factors are iodine, very bioavailable form of iodine, and remineralization of the body. 
And it's also important to realize that the iodine in kelp is in a very bioavailable form, and it's with a lot of other things, and it's in a, you know it's in a natural form, so it's with a lot of other minerals and vitamins and things like that. So the body can regulate how much iodine it's absorbing. Okay, that's why we prefer kelp for the iodine instead of for a Lugol solution and other iodine supplements that people rub into their skin and things like that. It's because when you rub things into your skin, there's no um, buffer mechanisms. Okay, your body has extensive buffer mechanisms in the body. Okay. You know, with your saliva, okay, and then when you digest it with the stomach acid and your digestive systems, your small intestine, all those things have buffer systems. And so your body will take out how much iodine and how much, what kinds of minerals it wants from the supplement. And that's why it's always preferable to have a natural product instead of just rubbing straight iodine or taking straight iodine. Because then you can overdo it, okay? Okay, and it's also important to realize that it also has lots of vitamins in it. It has some vitamin A in it. Um, it has K in it. It has vitamin D in it. Um, it even has a little omega-3 fatty acids, it has a little bit of protein in it. It's really a life-saving supplement today, and one that even if you're not on a full program and you're really looking to boost the amount of nutrients, the amount of minerals that you're getting from your diet, they, I really recommend to everyone. So I hope that helps you guys out, and I'll talk to you guys later.